I'm Bridget Johnson with I Want to Believe Productions. It's great to see you at the Music Box Theater. What are you most excited about tonight? Um, you know, it's really great. To, we both have a Chicago connection. We lived here. Um, our first date was at the Music Box. It's really great to bring it back to our home and um, share it. Reeling has been a major supporter of our work over the years, so it's great to kind of launch the Chicago premiere here. Uh, I agree with all of that, <laughs> and and I'm excited. That I, I first saw the musical Hello Again in Chicago at the Bailiwick Theater. They did the first production outside of New York, I believe, and so it's and there's so many. This is such a great theater town, and it's based on a play and a musical, and and they appreciate interesting and unique and theater related things here. So I'm excited to bring it to Chicago for that reason. I love the plot. What inspired you to make this film? Um, several things. We, we love Michael John's work uh, as a composer. Um, Corey knew about this piece back in college. But we also were attracted to it because the um, it was very ambitious for an independent film. Uh, you have 10 time periods. You have a musical all the way through. And that was exciting to us. We've done a lot of movies that are music driven. Um, but this one seemed like we were kind of upping uh, the stakes because it's, because it's so ambitious. Yeah, all of that. I mean, it's... It, it's it's a really good showcase for artists, for actors, and for designers, and for um, you know the cinematographer and direction and choreography, like going through the different time periods and going through all the different styles of music and and the different you know all of that is like such an amazing opportunity and showcase for people to just like explore like the talent and their artistic sort of you know what they have to offer, and that was you know definitely. I'm a young filmmaker myself. What advice would you give other filmmakers? Um, I mean, that's, I guess it's, if you want to make a project, you just have to do it. You know, the, the filmmaking now, um, it's, you can do it on your phone, you know? So really, if there's something that you are passionate about, that you will, uh, yeah, you just have to do it, you know? And of course, there's different levels. I mean. You know, once you kind of want to start getting some quote unquote name talent, it, there's many other things that come along with just doing it. But if you want to tell a story, um, you can you can tell that story in many different ways. So, yeah, yeah that's how. Yes. Any advice from you? Don't yeah, don't wait for somebody to tell to like give you the green light. Like you have to, we've learned you have to give yourself the green light and just decide it's happening, and then it sometimes usually it does. And what's it like working together? You've worked on many films in the past. What what was different about this film? Um, you can answer different. that one. <laughs> it's different. I mean, it's always a challenge because we are like work together. We're together all day long. Like the what was different? I mean, this was the I don't know if it was the most challenging. It was the most challenging in a lot of ways. It was the most sort of like. Um, there was a lot of invention with this, like because we invented like how to adapt the musical. We invented all of the new orchestrations. Like there's all the time periods and finding the right locations to be that time period. Like it was very, it wasn't an easy movie to make, and so it's also our first one that we did in New York City, which is now where we live, and that's a totally different beast in itself. And the fact that we are making it. Because a lot of times when we make a movie, we go, we went to Mexico, and we were in Mexico for a certain period of time, so we're kind of in that movie bubble. Where this, we still were in our our home we bubble, home to our dog and so day. that creates a whole nother kind of oh right, there's real life outside of the movie. When typically you're just in the movie bubble. And any upcoming films projects? Uh, we have a bunch of um, scripts that we're starting to shop, shop around. We also have a couple TV ideas uh, that Corey has, that has written into pilots. So, yeah, and we're definitely, I mean, we're, we love musical storytelling. So, you know, definitely the musicals are going to be another next project.